Hey, 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 it's paint talk time. It's Tuesday, October 20th, and it's time for um, another live edition of my favorite how to paint show. I'm Dion Woods, owner and artist at the Turquoise Iris, and I am working on a painting that I've already, I've already done. Like I did this painting uh, almost two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and I have decided to give her a new look all over. This was actually, um, hey Amber, enjoyed my interview with you. Guys, I did this painting a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and I found her upstairs. I found her. Oh, thank you. I named her Emma, and I did a whole series of girls in their swimsuits. This was the first full body painting I've ever done this large. Um, I found her. She's been upstairs in the bonus room in the corner. Amber was first, and I just grabbed her, and I was like, you know what, Emma? I've missed you. We're going to we're going to work out tonight, okay? So I'm going to add something. I really don't know. I'm totally going to change her hair. I mean, I love here's what I do love. I love the ex like this. I love the chair even though I think it's a little bit weebly and wobbly. I think that if she just shimmy shimmied on her little tush that she would like fall off the chair. So I'm looking at it two years later and realizing I need it to be a little bit more substantial, right? Hey, Heather Watson. Hey guys, I was just interviewing uh, Amber Hutchins from the Bohemian Craft House in our um, Talk To Me Tuesday. And so that's why I'm a little bit late, um, but it's always so good for us. And so she had dark hair and it was kind of wrapped up in a bun. And so I'm kind of coming in here and giving her a little bit different look. That's what I'm after. I know I wanna do something different, and she doesn't have hands, she doesn't have a face, but I just grabbed this out of the corner. I have two of them. One of them's named Emma and one of them is named Maddie. And they're both in their swimsuits and out by, out, you know, by a pool, a little bit abstract. And I just thought I am gonna give her more hair, different hairdo and start changing her up because I like her. And I remember after I did it, um, I remember being super proud of her. She didn't sell. I can't keep up with you, girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks. I know. This is like my fourth live today. Um, and then I had a training call and it's just something else. But this, like I said, I grabbed this out of the attic and it was a sweet little girl. Her name is Emma. And I remember she wanted this painting and I thought I would save it for her and just take it by her house and put it on her front porch after it didn't sell. And then um, I never did. We've lived here over a year and it's been sitting up in the attic in the boys bonus room. And there's several paintings up there. I'm not gonna lie, there's several up there. But I never sealed it or anything. So I just thought I will go with this. I will go with this and give her a little bit different look. I need to kind of reshape her body. I want to add more colors. I can change the chair just a little bit. And I just thought that's what we would work on tonight. So I grabbed three shades of brown and I just thought I would kind of give her a little, a little, little bit of bangs. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really good at hair. I've never really done it before. Um, but she had black hair in a bun. And so all I'm doing is actually kind of going over it kind of giving her hair just a little bit more free and I'm using the angle shader. I think we'll pull it down a little bit more. I was thinking that she was probably like 13 or 14. And uh, like I said, I did a, I did five or six of these girls. I gave them personalities. I gave them a whole story. And I'm putting that blue in there. You know, I am. I'm putting that blue in her hair. Um, doing some, some darker layers underneath and near her neck. And I'll build upon her hair. But I'm just kind of putting some. How's everybody doing? Um, if you are... Uh, you may have seen this earlier, this post. This is the piece that I'm working on in the Creative Connection. So I was live in there today working on that and I was so nervous. I wanted to make sure that I did justice to that beautiful print from Bubblegum Yum. Um, but that was that was a lot of fun and I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. But 
But for those that were hanging on with me, thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, you know what? And then I feel like I need a little bit like coming down over here, don't I? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, this is a little bit foreign to me to have hair and girls and yeah, I don't really know how to. I'm just jumping in there. I wanted to do something totally different. So the piece that I've been working on for the last 10 days, um, it's in there, but I still need to wax it, but I went ahead and psh, 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 psh. this has been in up at our bonus room since we've moved in and there it was in storage, not in storage. It was just with my paintings. So it's been almost two years since I've painted this and I just grabbed Emma. Welcome Emma. Now her name is going to be Emma Lean. Emmeline, just give it your best effort. It's all I can do, right, Derek? Hello there. You are just live all day today. I am Lou Allen. I am. So um, I'm just going to play around with her. Uh, I remember after I did Emma, I did Amelia and she sold. And then Olivia's outside on our wall. I kept Olivia because I remember it was one of those series where I was trying to do some new things I had never done before. And um, Olivia, who's hanging out on the outside of our wall by the pool, um, Emma is a nice name, right, Lolly? This is this is Emma, but now that I've given her a new hairstyle and color, she has to be Emmeline. Okay. Um, she looks like an Emily. Um, so Olivia. That was one of those paintings. I tried this wash technique that I had never done before, and it's it's four feet by three feet. And it was one of those I had it laid out in the garage, my garage studio, little nine by nine area um, at the other house. And I literally started crying because I had figured out how to do something and it was creating this texture that I was so excited about. And I started crying. So she means a lot to me. So I hung her up outside and I've kept her. Um, and she's She's kept where no water or anything can get her. This painting is all you. Actually, Lolly, she she had black hair, but it was up in a bun. And I know your hair is more purple, but she had purple hair. It was like black with like purple. So now I feel bad that I covered her up with all this wavy Auburn stuff when it, she could have just stayed Emma. Emma Louise, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so I am just going to layer this color, and then we've got to figure out what to kind of do to her her body here, okay? Because I am not real familiar with bodies as far as doing full sitting in a chair, um, but I wanted to do a striped series. So the other one that I have in there is um, Maddie, and Maddie's laying on her side, and she's on a striped beach towel. So she's next. We're going to redo her too. I hope everybody's had a good day. I have had my Michelle. She's been working so hard on this retreat for Waco and all of the fun things that we've got going on, kind of prepping. Um, like I said, I worked on that print there. Coaching call and Matt is just said he, I asked him if he was gonna join us and he said he thought he might sit tonight out. My mother's name was Emma Janelle. That's beautiful. I didn't know that, Michelle. Well, we can just call her Emma Janelle, but I was like, Emmeline, I don't know if that's a real name. Anybody know anybody named um, Emmeline? Oh my gosh, my other daughter is Maddie. Here's the thing. When I did this Emma, her sister's name was Maddie, and I did Emma and Maddie. And I know. Hi, Kathleen. Emma Jean. Yes. So we have to just kind of figure out what we're going to do to the rest of her. But I kind of wanted her to have just kind of some fly pool hair because she's out by the pool. And I wanted her to have fly. Yes, she's got blue in there, but I'll put all kinds of fun colors. I don't necessarily want her skin to be the color of real skin. I want her to just kind of be, uh, I just kind of want to make the chair a little bigger and not so structured. And I felt like, oh my goodness, if she gets a little shimmy shimmy or a bumblebee goes by, she's going to fall right out of that chair because look how skinny those legs are. I made those legs so skinny. I don't know why I've just been holding this. 
in my right hand. I'm gonna, that's my left. I'm half crazy tonight. I feel like, so bear with me. Bear with me. I am um, tired. Excited though. So I'm going to make these legs a little bit more substantial, okay? But I really just kind of wanted to give this a new abstract look that wasn't, I needed to give her a, a new name, a new look. And uh, man, I was so proud of myself when I did these, you guys. Like I said, it's been a while and I was just so proud. I was so proud. Look at this big thing of red. Boom. I haven't seen you paint a person before. Very cool. Oh, Rebecca Vineyard. I did a whole series a couple years ago. Um, I've done several women series, like women, naked women. I've done women in swimsuits, women in dresses, um, abstract women. I haven't done one in a while, though. But this was my series of called Stripes. And I did six of them. I did one Riley and she had her legs crossed like, like in a yoga pose. And my sister-in-law, Riley, my mother-in-law, my stepmother-in-law bought it for Matt's little sister. And her name is Riley. And she bought it for her to go on her mantle in her college apartment. My best friend is Emmy Lou. I love that. Cover her in flowers. I could, Janae. I so totally could. We are so proud of you too, Dion. Thank you. Hi, Gab. How are you? So this is a painting that I'm redoing. I did her a couple of years ago. Found her upstairs today. I ran up there for something. I don't know what I would ran upstairs for. But in the in the corner, guys, I'm just going to tell you, there's paintings from when I moved in over a year ago that haven't sold. I just shoved over there when I moved in, and I haven't touched them since. So I went into the stash today and pulled this out. And I thought, we'll give her a new name. Emmy Lynn, Emma Loon, Emmy Lynn, Emmy Lynn, Emmy, Emmy, Emmy something. So these legs, of course, need to be a little bit more substantial, I think. If a bumblebee goes by, she's going to fall right out of this chair. We've got to make her skin a little bit different. I have never attempted a face like this. And it's probably not going to be now either. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. I hope you are too. Gab, did you get into the journal? I thought I got you all set up. Were you able to get in to the journal? She didn't have a whole lot of shape going on to her body, which is why I assumed, I kind of just thought she was more of a younger girl. Well, it will be good. Don't worry. <laughs> we just wanted you to know. I just wanted to know if you were able to get in, buddy. Thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up, too. I appreciate you, Janae. That is so popular. So, so popular mid-century. I am so excited you got a subscription, Gavin. I know. Yes. Okay. All right, so in my mind, my abstract was this was the building over here, and she was sitting off here by the pool over here where the drips are. And so I was envisioning like some sort of like, you know, snow cone stand over here. Like this is the, this is the little fun place where. Oh, goodness, I cracked myself up. 
it's been a good day because I've been painting. I have been on lives and I got to paint today. The brush has been busy. I really actually like the yellow down here. I like the color, but it kind of makes me feel like instead of this being yellow, this should have been a darker color because she's sitting in the chair and it's creating a little bit of a shadow, don't you think? Like, didn't I kind of get that all wrong? But I, I should have had this be darker instead of the light, like, coming from the ground. See what I'm saying? Right? I feel like the yellow should have been more brighter up here, and then I should have made this more of the darker blue. See, I, I feel like I got everything a little bit wrong. But I was just having so much fun creating the background. See, like, there's a little, there's a little snow cone stand where the boys and girls meet. Tell your mom I will help. Oh, I already ha I already got it all set up. I, I gave him a password and a, um, a username just last night. It's not realistic. You can do whatever. It's so true, Lolly. That's where I was like, oh, let's just do anything. <laughs> let's just do anything. All right, let's get, let's get some skin tone. Let's get some skin tone color. Although I really would prefer her skin tone not be realistic. Okay, I have a really pretty pink. Let's see if this will work. I got one of these wet palettes in the mail by my friend Annette McShane. Carol says, I have sent you two messages about a paint order still waiting for your response. Oh, shoot, shoot. Um, tell me where you've sent them so I can check. I am so sorry, Carol. I did think of a yellow towel. That's a good idea. You're going to go upstairs and ask her. Thank you. She's in her teen stage, like you always say. So totally. Started her two years ago. I feel like it's been that long. It might not have been, but I really feel like it has been. Um... Amy bought Amelia, her husband bought Amelia for her, and um, she probably could tell you too. So I'm going to actually take some of my cobalt, and I'm going to line her swimsuit a little bit better. I had her in like a little tankini. Y'all know what a tankini is, don't you? So she had black, kind of black purpley hair, kind of in a bun when we started. Um, also, those of you that are local to this area, we are, or I am, going to offer December 5th a paint workshop. So it's be the last one that I do this year. And it's going to be local here at, at um, Reclaim Warehouse in Moore. And that's the place I always hold classes. Um, so I just opened that up to my website today under workshops. And I'm just going to, I'm kind of keeping it small. It's not going to be a big group. But I wanted to do one more class before um, Christmas, okay? Maybe just add a bit of Drippy Monet's Garden in the yellow. But I like the yellow. Oh, that's a good idea, Erin. Thank you for that. Tankini. Yep, Janae knows. Janae knows. And tomorrow, I'm going to get a bigger can canvas in here. Or we might work on this. It just depends. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah. You know, just like anything, I've learned some things in the last couple of years that I didn't know before I did this. And so I just felt like, man, I can add to her, so maybe learn some things that I hadn't done before. And give Miss Emmeline a uh, different look. So 
so quiet when Matt's not here. So many places to reach you, LOL. I don't remember. Email was one of them. All right, Carol, please, uh, I please accept my apologies. Um, I will check my email. I have three emails. So um, I have DMs for personal, DMs for business, DMs for the journal. So it, there are a lot of places for me to check. Um, I leave for Waco on Sunday morning early, and then we'll be Sunday through Thursday. So the lives will not be at scheduled 8.30. They will be completely and totally random. Thank you for asking. December 5th is my birthday. Yay, look at that. Oh, it, uh, thank you, Michelle. She posted the link to the workshop for December 5th. Um, okay, I'm already liking her just a, just a little bit better. She's starting to have a little bit more like papal going on on her. And... Lots of shadowing for pieces like this, and I'm still kind of like getting used to people, especially people that don't have a lot of clothes on. You guys know me. I keep telling you that I'm hanging on to um, summer as long as I can. So this piece, this piece, of course, is summertime, so... I'm just going to keep on keeping on with the summertime stuff. I did a podcast interview for Canvas yesterday. We were talking about how when you think you're done sometimes with a piece, you're not. I just love framing her in that blue color um, and think of what your husband would say. I miss that. Hi, while you are in Waco, will you be shopping the Round Top Antique Fair just to the road away? It's a couple of hours away and I will not be. We won't be doing that. We will go to Waco. Um, we will go to Magnolia, but we won't be going to Round Top. It's just too far. Um, we are doing um, business and motivational workshops uh, while we're all together at the retreat. If I ever attempt a human, they won't have faces or hands or feet. Nope. I mean, you can you know those are feet and you know those are hands, but you can't tell much about them. <laughs> Even though she's quietly posed, she is now looking more powerful. That's what I think, Julie. Like, I'm already, like, seeing her, like... She's kind of coming to life. I still want her to be sweet and I still want her to be innocent as if she's like 13 or 14. Um, and she's just kind of coming into herself a little bit. Um, that's kind of what I had in mind. I definitely wanted her to be innocent. And... But I also, I kind of like when the colors aren't exactly right. I, I, need, a, I need to hold off on doing her face, but I feel like her shoulder's a little bit odd too. Like I said, I was really happy with that. Uh, this was literally the first full bodied, especially a three foot body I had ever painted. Um, I've done tons of series on eight by 10 canvases of lots of different women dressing, swimsuits, completely naked, whatever, but I had never done anything like this. The main thing was that I didn't want her to look 
voluptuous or anything like that. I wanted her to stay really innocent looking. I'm just trying to create a little bit of shadows over here, more like from her body. So I'm taking a real thin coat of the blue and then kind of rubbing it in, shading. getting there right doesn't voluptuous mean voluptuous mean big voluptuous means not big thank you Betty evening all late after a surprise visit and some porch sitting tonight that's nice thank you the chair was screaming for death I'm working on it Lolly I'm still working on it but you're right. I've learned a lot in two and a half years or two years for me to I gotta give this some I actually remember this day. I literally remember this day very, very well. It was very sunny. Uh, my mom was over cleaning the house. She was my housekeeper for a couple of years, and she was inside, and I made her stop what she was doing and come out and look while I played and said, I'm painting a person, like a big person, a big girl. <laughs> you guys don't find this boring but if you do I'm sorry um, it just really screamed at me today to pick her back up I don't know for what reason but I felt like it was the right time to bring her out um, thank you Betty Hiltz for sharing this video howdy Dion I'm glad I finally caught you live I'm glad you caught me too hello Paula Sorensen big girls don't cry Alexa said it means full of and indulging in enjoyment and some other stuff I missed. I'm glad you asked Alexa for the definition of voluptuous. Never boring? I don't know. I feel like it could be. I feel like it could be. I definitely need um, the chair to just be a little bit more interesting. I needed to create some shadows along here because I'm feeling like the sun is over here and so there should not be a lot of sun on this chair. But this was when I started a long time ago so bear with me as I just try to kind of make her look a little bit better
And frankly, she's got some funky shaped legs. Compliments of yours truly. Guys, we're on day 20 of 100. We are 20% done. Can you believe that? It's pretty slow going. <sighs> We'll share it in that awkward stage, Deanna. No, he did not. Love to see you branching into portraits. Thank you, Kathleen. Janae, it's a work in progress. I'm a frustrated artist who would prefer a ruler in straight lines. Hard to be loose, but I hate perfection too. I'm a mess. Beauty Luscious. Hi, darling. LL speaking of tact or a lack thereof. My husband offhandly called me big and last night. He saw the look on my face and said, I didn't mean it. I'm an idiot. He definitely was being an idiot. Deanna, I've met you. You are far from a big one, that's for sure. Butte, that was a scam, a scammer post. It was hysterical. No, it's so inspiring. Thank you, Aaron. I love the sound of a brush on canvas. It's soothing. Thank you. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Beauty Luscious, you're the cutest. Um, there's the link again. If anybody local or anybody far away wants to come see me December 5th and hang out with me on a Saturday afternoon, I would love that. Every artwork, every artist reworks a painting. I, I am happy that I've got her back out. I know obviously I still have a long ways to go. Um, I may or may not be working on her tomorrow. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling. But I do remember working on this girl a long time ago and the sun was coming in. It was cold outside. It was actually not summer when I was doing this. I think it was spring, so I was craving summer, begging it to get here faster. I can hear Matt in there helping Holden with his homework. <laughs> He's studying. All right, so I'm going to stop with the blue for a few minutes because I, I need to. And then I'm going to pick up my, um, my mop. I'm going to do a little bit of this soft pink color. Um, so I'm going to put these, cut these brushes down. And I have a really loose baby pink color for my mop brush. I'm just going to kind of um, highlight a few areas here on her skin. actually did um, my first series of women were kind of abstract, just kind of female body studies. And I did a series of 25 of them. And the first 12, one person bought them. Her name was Quita Allen. And she bought the whole set of 12, my very first set. I haven't seen them since. I don't know where they are, but um, she bought them all from me. So I remember being very flattered. 
and appreciative of her buying my first set of female bodies. I don't know if she felt sorry for me, but um, I did 25 of them and I have three of them in our bathroom in there framed as a reminder too, because I've learned a lot. I still want her to be very abstract, you guys. Obviously. I don't want to leave her hair like that either. She definitely needs more hair. This brush, right here guys, this brush. Freckles, oh, freckles, let's do it. Let's do that. Oh, thank you, Janet. I started her about almost two years ago. Um, Christy just did a dresser using the mop and she loves it. Christy Lunsford, I saw, is in the hospital. So everybody, if you're prayer in kind, let's say a prayer for her. Um, so I started her and then I got her back out today because she's been up in the corner in the boys bonus room. So I have my liner, it's called the leader. And um, I don't know, I haven't seen anything except that she was in the hospital. She needs a book or a beach ball. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. I was trying to kind of keep her really, 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 really simple. Um, I will put a few freckles on here, but it's going to be kind of funny to have freckles because she doesn't have eyes or a nose or a mouth. But I'm still going to put freckles. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea, you guys. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, please, please. Well, Gavin, I guess you can't find it. Christy's what? She's in the hospital. Christy Lunsford. Yes, they're keeping her overnight for observations. The post says she needed a blood transfusion. I did not see that. So... Okay, so the freckles are a nice idea, but without eyes, nose, maybe not. Maybe not. Put a little elbow crease there. Since it doesn't have to look like anything at all, I'm just creating a little bit of a shadow down there. Um, she doesn't need a face. She's any girl. She is. She's fine without a face. Thank you, Laura. Um, I kind of think, I kind of am thinking that as well. Um,
I just wanted anybody to be able to kind of relate to her. Trying to get just a little bit of a little. Oh, why is it so good? My mom was pregnant with twin girls and they died in her stomach. She was bleeding a lot. They did surgery and gave her blood because she lost a lot. And she didn't even tell me for a long time. Gavin, she wanted to protect you from being sad. You know that, right? Gavin, she knew that you're so sweet and soft-hearted that you would be so sad for your mama. And so that's why she didn't tell you because she didn't want your heart to break. But mama also needed to get strong so she could tell you about it without getting upset. But you're big and you're strong. And so now she knows you could handle it. And that's why she told you now. Right, Gav? I'm sorry that that happened for your mom. Hi, Patty Levine. Love you, love you, love you. This girl I started two years ago, just got her back out out of the game room and just kind of changed her hair, playing with her a little bit. She had black hair in a bun, kind of a purple black color. Um, and I kind of just want to do um, like some, mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't really want her skin tone to be skin tone. Isn't that silly? Like I kind of just want her to be um, a little bit more random. But a lot of people have a hard time with that. Very kind words to Hindi on. No, you couldn't have saved them, Gavin. Nope. Yes, I know. But don't worry, just worry for Kristen. Well, your mama sounded okay when I talked to her. Does she have a slight sunburn? I would say she definitely has a slight sunburn. She's only 13 and she's just totally, totally not taking good, good care of her skin. Oh, sounds about right, doesn't it, ladies? And gentlemen. I kind of just like random. Like, I'd rather just have her some random colors on her skin. Whoopsies. Like turquoise and stuff on her skin. I just would rather it be that look. Um, I'm going to let you guys go here pretty quick. Like I said, I worked on Bubblegum Young Lady over there. Um, but I do kind of want to put in some, like, yellow. I love her. 
because we were young and dumb. Baby oil and iodine. That's terrible! Why did you do that, Lolly? Did you see our class photos? The hair. Oh my goodness. Yes, I regret the days of using butter. Ugh, she's naive. Maybe never been to a pool or beach before. It's exactly right, Betty. Go with random. Yeah, my um, my more abstract girls that I've done in the past, I put blue and turquoise and green and all kind of colors on their on their bodies. I have a hard time with not real. Multiple colors in the skin can look beautiful. Don't feel constrained by realism. Follow your own vision. Thank you, hun. I actually kind of want a little bit of um, turquoise. And then I will say goodnight to you guys. I can hear the boys doing homework in there together. Matt helping Holden study, which is why he's not on here tonight. Holden has a big test and he needs to get his grade to a high B or a low A instead of a low B. Don't tell him I told you. But he's got one B and it's a low B. All right, so I have a little bit of a light aqua turquoise and I'm going to get that on her skin just a little bit as well. You can see she's got pink. She's got fuchsia. That was from her original, like, kind of like. I kind of like all of this random color in here. like you forget all of a sudden Dodgers and the Rays are they on right now didn't we um who won last night did the Dodgers win Sunday night was it yesterday thank you for bringing out this painting beyond watching me paint gives me courage to try oh you're so welcome Janae I just figured to go for it whatever that looks like today whatever I just I saw her up there and thought you know what I'm just gonna get her back out because um, she deserves a second chance. I was so happy and proud of myself when I painted this so many months and months ago. Um, uh, 
and I'm glad that it inspires you. That's exactly why I'm on here day after day after day, is hoping that just one of you will at least find inspiration, maybe not take your artwork so seriously and just get in there and do the best you can and make the best of it. And Lordy, have fun doing it. The um, submissions, you guys, for the next issue, issue two, for the journal, I think they're live. I think now, um, I think you can actually go to the turquoiseirisjournal.com and scroll to the bottom and actually sit in, send a submission in for issue number two. I think uh, Cami activated that with our new board. I'm, I think it may not be activated. I need to check my messages, but we are showing our new color combinations. Uh, are inspired, you know, for the first journal we had uh, Palm Springs, kind of a boho Palm Springs be our inspiration for the colors and the design and we have a different one planned for this. We're going to be announcing the cover artist and the focus word. So incredibly proud. Just so proud. So I look forward to hearing and seeing all of your submissions. That must have been Gavin. What is the theme? I can't tell you right now, buddy. I can't. Make sure you're on the mailing list to be the first to know. Okay, so I created a little bit more of a shadow for the chair and that makes me feel a little bit better. Darkened some of that around there. Gave her a little bit different hairstyle. A much different hairstyle, actually, but let me put some pink in there. She's got cool hair, cool hair drying in the wind. Oh my goodness, she's one of those people I could just pick out all day. Thanks, Rebecca. The colors make her legs look more realistic. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off. I know I've been on for 54 minutes. I had no idea. Looks like a younger Dion. Thank you. Um, thank you, thank you. I would have never been at a pool at that age in a bikini or sitting there. I would have been way too bashful to do that. Um, that would not have been me. But I would have been with the girls that were wearing the bikinis, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, you guys. Have an awesome rest of your evening, and I will see you back tomorrow at 8.30 Central Time right here for Paint Talk. I'll see you later. Good night. <laughs>